in google.com and type MIT of Inventor. So you will get the link called appinventor.mit.edu. Just open that link. In that link, you are having the option called create app. So just click that one. So if you are not down logged in using your Gmail account, you can log into this particular website. So click on this start new project. It will ask for the name for the project. I am just giving to speech as the name. So this is the design window where we have to create all the user interface component. For the first we need to give a label. To place the label, just click over that label. You are having uh, properties in the right hand side. You can change the properties. I am changing this particular text to text to speech and alignment I have given center height and width you can give height you keep automatic and width you make it as fill parent so that it will be occupied the full and if you want to make it as bold you can make it bold and if you want to make it the colors you can select some colors here. So now the label is ready. Next we need to get some information from the user, that is the text from the user. So I am using taking text box and changing the same width I am selecting fill parent alignment giving us center. Next we need to create one button, keeping the button making the button as center alignment changing the text of this button instead of button if you want to keep any images then you can keep uh, upload the image from this particular button. This is about design. So we have created the text label and we have created the text box for getting the text from the user and one button we have created. Now we are going to block. Before going to block, we need to add one more thing. So open the media. You will have text to speech. Just drag and drop inside the your design. If you see, it will not go inside the design. In the bottom, it will be there. So we are going to implement these text to speech for this particular application now. So next, go to the block in the right hand side. In the screen one, you can see all the things which you have created in the design. So just click over text to speech. So here there are so many options. First select this call method. So what we are doing is we are going to convert the text to speech and next you click on button. So in the button when I am pressing the button it has to be done. inside the button, just drag and drop it. So now when I press the button, this function will be getting executed and then 
from where I have to get, I have to get from this text box. In the background, you change it to text. So when I am pressing this button, this text will be taken from this text box and it will be converted into speech. So this is the functionality. Now the app design has been over. Go to build and two options you can produce the APK file. First one you will say you can save the APK file into your application in your system or you can share the QR code for APK. So I am just selecting the saving. So it is building and it will be giving you the app. Once the app has been completed, automatically the app will be downloaded to your downloaded phone. So here you can find your application. You can install the application in your mobile phone. I am just installing in a emulator. So your app is here, T2 speech. Just double click that one. So whatever you have designed, that will be. So whatever you are typing here, and have, when you are pressing this button, that will be speech. Thank you.